Hi, I'm Alex from Tutoring Heroes, and today I'm going to help you with some maths. Should we go have a look at what we're doing today? In this video, we're going to look at drawing pie charts. Our checklist says that we're going to find the angle for one, then we'll work out the angle for each value. We'll draw a circle using a compass, draw a line from the centre, and use a protractor to draw each section and label as you go. If you don't have a compass or a protractor, you will need to get one to be able to take part in this lesson. So our question says, 30 people were asked what their favorite pet animal was. Use the table below to show this information in a pie chart. So I have my information here. My checklist says I'll find the angle for one. So the total was 30. So I would do 360 divided by 30 which hopefully I'll be able to put on for you to see. 360 divided by 30 equals 12 degrees. So one person would be the same as 12 degrees on a pie chart. So then I multiply these values by 12. So five multiplied by 12 equals 60 degrees. 10 multiplied by 12 is 120 degrees. 7 multiplied by 12 is 84 degrees and 8 multiplied by 12 is 96 degrees. And now we can use this information to draw our circle and draw a line from the centre and begin to put these values onto our pie chart. So let's have a go. So I've got on a piece of paper to help me because my pen doesn't fit into my compass. We are going to first of all draw a circle using our compass. So I've drawn a little marker on my paper so I know where my circle is going to go and we can make it slightly bigger. And then I tend to just angle it slightly and then draw and I'm trying to get as dark as possible so you can see. And try and keep the middle point as straight as possible. It's a bit tricky for me because I have a piece of paper and I'm trying not to move your front easier when you're trying to use the right way I have a piece of paper at the same time. Okay. So I've drawn my piece of paper, I can then get my pencil and it says draw a line from the centre to the outer edge. So I tend to just draw that, I just use my protractor because it's already got a straight line, straight out and that's going to be the start of my first, I call them wedges or sections. So we've got a dog with the frequency of five being one of the favourite pets and it says to do an angle of 60 degrees. So I'm going to put my protractor right on the line. So I need to have my zero and the middle of it right on the dot in the middle of the circle and along that line I've just drawn. And then it says to do a 60 degree angle. So if I mark here, zero all the way around to 60 is up here. And then I can line that up. And the key is to do this as carefully as possible and to label as you go. So this was 60 degrees and this section was for dog. Now I keep going around. I'm going to do 120 degrees for the next one. So right in the center, line up that new line edge with zero all the way around to 120, which is all the way over here. Draw that line, make sure I write the angle because I might forget which one is which. And that was for cat. I then continue on for the next one, which is a snake. 84 degrees. Now, you can actually twist your paper, so I just move this out for a second. And there we have drawn our pie chart. So remember we started off finding the angle for one which was 12, then we worked out the angle for each of the value, each of the frequencies, then we drew a circle using our compass, then we drew a line from the centre, 
and we used a protractor and you can use any sort of protractor you have I have a full protractor and a half protractor I use the half protractor protractor today just make sure you're carefully using either the zero on this side or the zero on this side just be careful which measurement you decided to use the inner or the outer layer and carefully measure them and draw them out remembering to label each section as you go good luck drawing your pie charts thanks for watching this video today brought to you by tutoring heroes